They say war never changes. But comrades, I entirely disagree with that sentiment. There's always a better way to blow your opponent up. That's right. Come here, Sabro, here today with another episode of the Man in the High Castle mod. If you remember last time, we took over Canada. That's right, and we brought it into the fold of Great uh, uh, German States of America, GSA. That did great. That just doesn't sound right. It just doesn't just not flow off the tongue, if you know what I mean. Did I forget the piece of Canada? Why, yes, I did, son of a bitch. <laughs> Hmm, well, yes, I suppose that'll just have to be what it'll be. And in the meantime, let us make peace with the Canadians. We have uh, gotten primarily what we wanted. We've kind of turned them into a Taiwan with China type situation, if as it were. That's right, oh, that's interesting. You know, it would be kind of cool if, they, if they, in the mod they would actually make some more of these other countries a little bit more powerful. Uh, to kind of add in uh, something else aside from just playing as the main powers. Like, I get that's the primary purpose of this mod, but, you know, still, just, just just throwing that out there. That would be pretty cool if they did that, you know, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so what are we going to do? Maybe we are able to design a new uh, defense platform. Uh, we have so much. We're almost able to. We're uh, upgrading on the way down the line. Oh, yeah, let's look at that over in about uh, 300 days. Oh, phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Yes, lots of good stuff coming in for us. Ooh, look, we've actually got our navies and our air forces and all sorts of stuff right where we need it to be. Oh, that's just delicious. What is that? Damn. Um, that one. Okay, you see a five. So we got up to a six. All right, we're still increasing the numbers of units all over the place. We're going to have a bunch of leopards. That's right. I'm training giant cats to fight for me because that's how I roll broskies you know me commissar I do the weird shit like that that's right all right so what are we gonna do this time well I think Mexico has survived for far long enough if you uh, are, are, are with me on that one so I think it is time to bring Mexico into the fold of greater German America, yes. So attack! Forward! Who hates us? Oh, everyone does. Oh, delicious. Oh, my. Who declared war on me? Oh, looks like the United States, the actual, the, uh, the demilitarized zone of the United States declared war on us. Oh, you foolish motherfuckers. How big is their army? Not big at all. That is just delicious. Occupy Mexico. Phenomenal. Now let us take a quick step into the demilitarized zone and show Japan that we are not afraid of their uh, 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 possible incursions, as it were. And we're not going to directly attack that, because if we do, though, you know, a lot more people will declare war on us aside from just Japan. But we are going to move our army, like, right next to theirs. Mm, that's right. Move it right next to this. God, we are like really close. To, how are we not engaged? We are like minutes from each other. There we go. All right, so we're gonna wipe out the United States' army, or the neutral territory's army, as it were. Phenomenal. All right, so we've defeated them. We have occupied this territory. Oh, and sweet Japan has declared war on us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the war has begun in earnest. Yes, let us deploy all of our troops to the capitals and ready for battle. We will not be able to defeat the Japanese Navy. We are by no means capable of doing that. But we are entirely capable of defeating the armies of our enemies. Now, hopefully, we don't incur the wrath of Germany, despite the fact that we have stepped into the demilitarized zone and wait for it wait for it boom that's right japan feel the full overpowering wrath of the uh, german states of america we waste no time we want no time war is all we want here Owen, let them send their army yeah look we're, we're waiting for them we're waiting for them Oh, they're bringing, oh, they're bringing everything. They bringing everything they got. Oh, fudge packets. 
<laughs> didn't get a chance to fortify. That's all right, though, because we're just going to wipe out the Japanese military one by one. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, just send it in one in and one in, you foolish Japanese bastards. Oh, shit, we just lost a lot of tanks. We just lost, like, 4,000. Oh, all our bombers are dead. Oh, goodness gracious, I think we're losing the fight. Oh, we're losing? I think we're losing. Oh, this is, this is, oh, God. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I think we lost. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not good. We need to slow this down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going to have to deploy everything we got. All right, what are we, what are we, what are we still building? Are we still building stuff? All right, let's for the German, German Reich. We're clearly going to need a shit ton of tanks. I don't see anything popping up in the production queue. Build? Did it glitch out? Or are we just not allowed to build anything from them anymore? Whatever. Build me tanks. I think it glitched out. Wait. Oh, no, I've got it on time. There we go. All right, there we go. Now we're building some stuff. So we're just going to build a shit ton of tanks to make up for all the tanks we just lost. And we're going to build a shit ton of anti-aircraft. Okay, we apparently maxed out everything. And we're going to have to kick it into high gear to let things start to be created. High, high gear, because apparently things aren't being created fast enough. And we're just going to have to look at the fact that our army was absolutely devastated. God damn, they have so much shit. Huh. Huh. Well, I guess they did have, like, a lot. Well, that means that the Greater German Reich is now more powerful than us again. No bueno. Can we go to peace? I think I would like to go to peace. Yeah, let's go to peace with Mexico and... What's his face? We're still at war with all these people, though. Really? Israel? <laughs> really, Israel? <laughs> Once upon a time, we were friends! Well, not really. This is an alternative history, so I suppose we're not, never were, and never will be. Hmm, for shame. Oh, for shame. That is a pretty good number of men. We lost most of our actual soldier army. What else we got? I'm really surprised that we just we just we just lost that battle though. I mean that was that was an expensive battle to lose. And we have plenty of money. We just don't have the industrial capacity needed to build an even larger army, which is kind of a bummer. All right, we're going to put these guys into fortify. Fortify? Actually, if we had fortified this army, there's a good chance they would have survived. Very good chance. Well, they are still holding on. You know what? Let's just go ahead and let's get in there. Let's fuck. Let's just fuck it, man. <laughs> let's just get in there. Get involved in the fight. Throw everything we got. We're going to lose, but who the fuck cares? I sure as shit don't. Yeah, reinforcements on the way. Holy shit, we won. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow, look at those casualty figures. Now that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a battle. That is a battle. Our air force was absolutely wiped out, but we completely demolished what was left of the Japanese forces. Our land army was also very much demolished. Now the Japanese don't have anything left but their massive navy. So we have effectively liberated these areas. So now we're going to go occupy Alaska. Boom shakalaka. How do you like that? <laughs> Such a dick. Occupy this territory. Uh-oh. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, that's not good! Oh, it's not good at all! Uh-oh. Uh, it looks like the, uh, the, the German Reich is not happy with our overbearing attacks on their uh, their pseudo ally people but thankfully the uh, greater german reich is still building us an army which is good they're going to keep building us tanks let them keep building us tanks oh jesus so oh, goodness oh the japanese brought in what's left of their army the pacific states have brought in what's left of their army and oh we fight dear brothers we be alone the United States is coming back, and we're going to be better than ever. Oh, goodness. It looks like uh, the, the Germans have showed up with troops on our shores. Unexpected. Very, very, I mean, not really unexpected. I mean, it's kind of expected considering the circumstances, but I didn't really expect it to happen this way. Come on. Engage. You were right there. Engage. <laughs> there we go. Holy shit. 
All right, so we're taking out the Pacific states. And uh, apparently we're at war. Oh, God, now we're at war with Italy, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. See, this is why you don't declare war on the United States, on any of the regions in the United States. Can we get a peace now? I'm uh, more for peace. Let's, uh, let's do peace. Full-on natural peace that everyone just enjoys, everyone has fun with. Because, I mean, I have fun with peace. Do you have fun with peace? Peace is nice and just a great thing that everyone should really, really consider getting into. I mean, I, I personally have had great experiences with peace. Uh, Peace is a pretty nice guy uh, from what I've seen and what I've met in my lifetime. So, you know, that's that's a thing. Okay, let's just, you know what, we're going to combine our army into one. Get it all together. Well, actually, let's occupy this territory first. Reoccupy it. All right, we might as well annex it. All right. No, whatever. We're pissing off everyone else. You know what, world? Just bring it the fuck on. If you're going to kill me... Then by God, I'm going to fight you to the bloody, visceral, brutal end. That's right. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. I'm going to go down swinging, baby. Because that's how the Commissar rolls. He doesn't, like, sit up and die for anyone. Not in a, not a, not a fashion that wouldn't be awesome. Because, you know, that's, that's just how I roll. That's what I do. Oh, it looks like the Greater German Reich went to peace with it. Reich went to peace with peace with us. Ha 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 ha! Yes, that's right. They heard about our power and said, "Nope, nope, 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 nope. We're not getting involved." And you know what, Greater German Reich? That is smart. That is smart that you kept your shit to yourself. Cause look what I did to Japan. You think I won't do the same to you? That's right. The Commissar takes no prisoners. Then I will admit, they kind of got the majority of Canada, and I didn't really take that back. But, eh, whatever. I'll be fine. Anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying watching as much as I'm enjoying playing. That's right. Hopefully we can get another one of these out today to kind of boost this series along a little bit. But anyway, this has been CB, and I'll see you next time.